Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is not the most exciting video for me to make. Um, unfortunately, our uh, Bronco got rear-ended. Um, it's hard to tell from this angle, but uh, it was probably a 10 to 15 mile an hour rear end um, actually out front of our house. So believe it or not, we actually have some uh, video footage um, that we'll show you here of the actual uh, rear end. There was some construction going on out front of the house and it was in the middle of January. Um, the roads were glazed over with like a fresh inch or two of snow. So they were really slick and we were coming to a stop right by our house and uh, he didn't stop in time. It was an F-150 that hit us. So I'll show you a picture of the damage on his truck and uh, the video of the uh, accident here. So take a peek. So we got an uh, insurance quote for all the damage on this. Um, it's hard to tell from here um, what was all damaged. Um, there's some screws up here on this uh, wheel. That was actually where the top of the uh, F-150's grill hit and scratched those up. Not a big deal. We can just touch those up with some touch-up paint. But if you look here, you can see what happened. Um, the wheel is out this way. And that mount, the wheel mount, is going to be cracked underneath of there. Um, and it's um, pushed up against this bump stop, and typically it wasn't before before all this. So with the insurance uh, um, quote, it was $2,900 in uh, damages to replace this. There was a little dent under here on the uh, actual tailgate that you can't really see. So we'll show you that after the wheel's off. But it really wasn't anything that significant. Um, I'll show, like you saw in the pictures of uh, the F-150, it took most of the damage um, with the grill and the bumper hanging off. But uh, we're actually just going to try and fix all this ourselves. Um, uh, what I was looking for is this whole assembly um, from Ford. They only sell it together with the, the actual brake light, the uh, rear camera and this tire mount all as one piece and it's like twelve hundred dollars um and all i really need is this part so i did find a company called turn off road they actually make an aftermarket um tire mount it's actually an adjustable one so you can actually do bigger tires and get it farther out if you need to um, so we're gonna go through the process of installing that um, in this video for you and hopefully um, for around 300 bucks we'll have this thing back to um, working order and uh, without too much damage under there but you really won't be able to see that um, with the back tire on there at all the at all times if you took this off then maybe it might be a bigger issue but we plan to have that back tire on there most of the time so stick with us we'll get everything taken off here and then we'll show you the install on that uh, new rear tire mount all right guys, so here is the uh, damaged piece right here. As you can see, all crushed in. And all we really wanted to do is replace this. And Ford won't sell you just that part. So it's gotta be this whole assembly with the uh, rear camera and uh, the top piece for the rear brake light. So um, we're gonna take all this off and just replace this piece with that aftermarket one from the turn road, turn off road. Um, here's some of that damage down here. It's really hard to see, but the paint got cracked right here. Um, so it got uh, a little bit of damage, just enough the tire must have just touched that. Um, so the tailgate would have had to been taken off and sand i don't know if they could have fixed that or if they would have had to replace the tailgate probably could have fixed it um but there is some, some minor dents right in through here um but pretty much all covered up by the uh the spare tire so like i said uh we uh, fared pretty well here um 
compared to the F-150. That tire took most of the damage. So we're going to get all this off here and then uh, we will show you the, uh, the turn off road um, rear tire mount. We'll unbox that and get it put on. All right, guys, so these bolts here, the big ones, are uh, just a 13 millimeter, so we're going to zip those off here quick. Just like that, <laughs> we're off. So I'm going to uh, work at getting this grommet pulled out here and then we'll disconnect the wiring harness here. Okay guys, so we had to uh, pop this uh, panel um, right here. We had to pop that off. All right guys, once you have uh, the connectors removed here, and you can actually just push on this little white piece right there and that'll make that grommet pop out so then you can feed the wires through on this side just like that all right guys we've got it out so now we're gonna have to uh, figure out how to get the uh, rear camera out of there so we're gonna reattach the camera assembly to the new mount and then we'll go ahead and start putting that new mount in unscrew these plastic pieces and get this foam out of there. You can actually just turn those by hand even though it has a star on the end of plastic. There's plastic little guys there that thread into that. Okay, now we gotta take off this and that. Well, they're uh, T30s. comes out with the uh, studs. And then hopefully this piece will come out here and we can get that camera out. Let's see what happens. Okay, it won't come out. We're going to see if we can't force it out. like that okay, guys if it will not come out if it's locked in there like mine just uh, take like a flathead or something and punch it out from the front like that that's all it took all right guys one more thing that we have to do to get this camera finally out of this assembly there is a torx there holding this in so we are going to take that Torx off and then we'll get the camera actually out. T15 if you wanted to know which one you need for that. Like that. That little bracket out. And then from the front here, it looks like there's probably some other clips holding that thing in there. We got it out finally guys so we'll probably just air that out with some air clean it up a little bit and then we'll show you the process of putting it in the uh, new turn off road mount all right guys so here is the uh, pieces that come in the kit we got lots of bolts um, wiring for the uh, camera a couple more bolts more bolts, 
here's the main bracket. So here is the uh, adjustable camera mount. And then this piece right here goes on the end of the camera like that. Another piece of the uh, camera mount slash bolts for the tire for the wheel. Okay, now we just got to put these brackets on um, for the uh, third brake light. So we will put those on with the existing or the old T30 bolts that were holding it to the uh, original tire carrier. so depending on what uh, size tire you have will be where that goes in and you line it up with those holes there um, I only have the 35 inch tire so we're gonna put it as low as we can holes right there. All right, we're putting in that center assembly now. know exactly where I want this adjustable piece to go yet probably pretty close because I am using the stock tire the wheel sticks out a little bit more because I got aftermarket wheels but we'll play with that before we tighten it down make sure make sure we got it this way where we want all right guys so with this kit um, if you watch the installation video on their website it does um, tell you that you will need to extend the wires for the uh, camera um, because it just once you feed it through here it doesn't come out far enough especially if you want to be able to uh, move this back and forth there's not enough length so basically they said pick a spot cut it splice in this cable that they give you um, and it's got connectors and shrink wrap and everything so we're gonna go through that process and get that all spliced in then we should be able to feed that through get our camera mounted in here and then we'll get it all totally mounted to the car all right guys we finally got that cable extended we're gonna connect our connector in here. So we got the camera connected. And basically, I'm putting it in here so it fits in that little groove. Put our two screws in there and let's hook it up. 
All right, guys, here it is. Halfway mounted, I haven't put all the bolts in yet, but uh, that is what it should look like. So the install wasn't too bad until we got to the electrical part, splicing in that extension just to get it to fit out here was a little bit of a pain took me a half hour 45 minutes to get that all straightened out um, if you didn't have to do the wiring probably a half hour job so uh, we'll button this up get this all mounted this back in and put the tire back on and show you what it looks like all right guys there it is install complete no more crooked tire so this is where what the camera looks like in this little mount and that's the part that's adjustable but I think we've got to adjust good it's just touching these right there so up against the stops I think that'll work. So, uh, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Um, hopefully, this helps you out if you got uh, a rear-ended little fender bender issue going on, um, or any other reason that that uh, tire mount gets broken. This is about three hundred dollars um, for this setup plus shipping. Um, so it beats uh, twelve hundred bucks for buying the new one from Ford. Um, for the whole assembly, but uh, we will uh, use it this way. And I guess if we got uh, some bigger wheels or tires, we'd be all set because we can move this out and uh, still have plenty of uh, space with this adjustable mount. So thanks again, guys. Have a good one. Stay tuned for the next video.